Welcome back to the Science Channel. Science Channel, Jaspari. Yes. Today we have an experiment, a scientific experiment. These helmets were sent to us by DevTech. They are, Jaspari, give me a little close up on this. Come on yes, closer. Yes. Come join me in a moment. Look, look at this, Yuri. Yeah, I put this flashlight over here and this is actually a scope. I don't know why I put it here, just for decoration, I think, purposes. It, this one was actually built for me. You can put night vision on it. Uh, also has a vent on the top. You can switch your vent off and on on this side. There's also another vent switch right over here. Just pretty if you want to focus on that. Keeps your head cool, ventilated. The glasses are not uh, bulletproof. Well, I forgot to say, this whole thing is bulletproof. It's a level 3A for the most part. Some level 2 on the smaller areas i think but for the most part it's supposed to stop up to 44 magnum or so this uh, i'm using a pse recurve bow and shoots these pointy guys i always forget what they're called three-way pointy three arrow three-sided whatever you want to call them just better you see it yes okay we're gonna use this to shoot it Okay, that's pretty. Let's go back. Which, which area do you want me to shoot in? Well, yeah, right in the front, the mouth area. The mouth oh, area, right? Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of meat over there. There's a lot of meat. This probably uh, puts out about uh, 250, 300 feet per second. It's got a 70 pound draw, or maybe 65, I don't remember. I haven't shot this for a long time. Oh, wow. Nice shot. This was a nice shot. Yeah. Look at that. Went in. But yes, yes, a quarter inch, yes. It did not come out from inside. It would it would have saved you. Look at oh, that yeah. beauty. It's that nothing. beauty is wait, wait, not going move. anywhere. Okay, let me focus. Yeah, that was a good shot actually. I still got my aiming skills. I thought yes. I'm gonna forget. I haven't shot this for almost six seven months. Now we're gonna be doing a compound bow. Uh, this one is from PSE. It's called Revoke 31. It's one of their professional lines for uh, hunting. Puts out about 330 to 340 feet per second. I think it's got a 75 or 80 pound draw or so. And uh, some trophy sights and stabilizers and uh, ba 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 ba. I'm using this tip for this one. It's similar to the other one, but this is more of a, uh, it's only double sided blade. The other one was a three sided blade. This one is a double. So, should do the same thing almost. This, I remember it having good uh, accuracy. I remember. Yeah, we used we the shoot for a long time. I haven't shot this for so long. Let me see if I still got it. You ready, Jasperi? I'm ready. Okay. Fire in the hole. <sighs> that was a lot of power being dumped in. The tip is is is, is bent. Oh man. Wow. Look what happened to the tip. Look Bring it, it closer. Yeah. So went in. It couldn't go in. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, <sighs> banana. What is this thing called? It rolled it over. That is crazy. I have never, I've shot a lot of uh, arrows before. This has never ever happened. It just yeah. rolled it in like a little banana peel. Check that out. Wow. You gotta make sure your arrows are okay. No splits because it can break and uh, go right through your skin. I'm using these stainless steel broadheads. Super, super sharp. Okay, that's pretty ready. I'm ready. Okay, fire in the hole. Oh, oh nice. big different. See big different. Yeah, look how deep it went in. Oh, yeah, the, almost the whole tip. Yeah, these broadheads, it depends how sharp your broadheads are. They can do some serious damage. Check inside, be careful with your finger. I, I don't think come out all the way. Okay, it wouldn't have because even though this is front like that, this is all extra free space. So if if you had this on, you got shot by one of these arrows, it wouldn't even have scratched you, I, I think. Yeah, because don't come out. No, it didn't come out. I can feel it with my finger. Yeah, bit. here's the, the point. But it wouldn't have killed your main, wounded you in any way. Okay, next we have the new 2021 10 point Siege RS40. I can't believe how compact and how light it is. The risers sit right in the middle, as you can see. When it's cocked, it's about seven and a half inches wide and about 26, 27 inches long, which makes it really compact. Like if you want to compare it to my body, well, is my body large or super large? Well, no, no, you is a medium size. Okay, good, thank you very much. So I... you're saying I'm fit, I'm a good, healthy guy? <laughs> no, 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 okay. <laughs> you're not tall, you're not short. It's yeah, I'm an average, right? Average, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it is pretty nice and tight. 
it puts out about 410 feet per second. If I'm not mistaken, 150, 149 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. I'm also using these broadheads. They're also from 10 point. Link in the description. Go check them out. That's pretty ready. I'm ready. It automatically goes in safe. So you gotta take it off safe, put it on fire. I'm gonna take first shot. Sights, I have not sight in as usual. I'm ready. You ready? Well, you don't ask, but I'm ready. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, fire in the hole. Oh, what? Where did this thing go? I don't know. Did I go too low? I went too low. Yeah, you went too low. Okay, sights are off. Okay, so let me show you how the caulking system works, which is super amazing. Just ready, come closer. Yes. Okay, so caulking this thing is super easy. If you're in a tree stand position, it comes with this little, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, <laughs> handle. Handle. <laughs> this little uh, handle, you push it in, right in there. Caulking and decaulking system. Okay, you go back, you release this. So that trigger box, trigger housing, whatever it's called, will come forward, will grab it. You want to make sure you get that clicking noise, and then you go back. It's so simple, even a caveman can do it, just buddy. Caveman? Yeah, so you get that. And then you go a couple rounds back and this tucks away so you never have to lose it. This goes right in here and it goes in there, okay? I put those uh, three bladed uh, blades, three bladed tips. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher. We should have a good safety off. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I went a little bit too high. I hit the glass. Yes. <sighs> okay, let's take Let's take last shot. Grab your arrow, fingers out of the way. That's pretty ready? I'm ready. Wait, safety was off, okay. Fire in the hole. Ah, God, I'm good. And this oh is the power. God. No one inch, four inches. That is, f that is more than four inches. That's five inches in, that's a kill shot. That's a kill shot, yeah. This is definitely a kill shot. And this is why crossbows are so powerful. Look at this little tiny thing, how much power it's putting out. A compound recurve couldn't do it. And that's a professional re uh, compound bow. Wow, look at this. <laughs> that is a definitely a kill shot. Yeah, five inch, easy. Yeah. So thank you so much to clearballistic.com for sending us uh, gelatin. This is a 10% FBI gelatin. I got the plastic on it, that doesn't make the sound. So these are also from 10 point, these uh, broadheads. And the way they operate, let me tie it in real quick. I mean, uh, screw it in. Pretty sharp point, so when they go in, these two push the blades out, and as they exit, they make more damage. So if you are out there hunting for something deer, the bigger the exit wound, the more blood comes out, or if you're going for the lungs, it makes a bigger hole, and the animal falls down quicker, therefore suffers less. That's why you wanna do the most damage. On impact. That's about, are you ready? I'm ready. Lock in, draw back. That only took a few seconds. Okay, Jasper, you ready? I'm ready. We are really close. I just want to see how much power it has right point blank. Jasper, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Fire in the hole. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect shot. Well, point blank. And it tore this whole thing out. Look at the opening right there. Okay, Jasper, do you see the cavity wound? Yeah. That's about, it does exactly that. It came in and then it opened up in the middle and went out about an inch and a half of cavity. And there's your broadhead. How many inches was this? I don't remember. Uh, at least 12, 14 inches. No more. This is like, yeah, like 14, 15 inches. Wait, these, uh, these arrows are 16 inches, if I'm not mistaken. They made these specially for this uh, crossbow. It actually comes with six of them when you buy it. So these are 16 inch arrows. So this is about 16 inch block. With the tip, it makes it probably 17. I'm using the same broadhead because obviously you want them to be the same. So we're gonna use a compound one. That's pretty ready? Uh, you have to go, no, 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 no. To be fair, you have to go in the front, close. Point blank? Yeah, point blank. No, that's important. Okay, feet. you tell me, am I straight? Uh, yeah. Go on the side? Because yeah. I'm too close to use the... Uh... Yeah, you're straight. I'm straight? Yes. 100%, go from the side, look over there. You're straight, super okay. straight. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, that was super center. Yeah, right on top of the other one. Yeah. Okay, so there's a difference. It doesn't get any more clear than this because thanks to clearballistics.com. <laughs> that was a good ad plug, right, for them? 
there you have it one came out the other one went about 10 inches and the, the other one 16 inches. Away. same sort of uh same uh, broadhead okay thank you so much to 10 point for always sponsoring us with the crossbows. Check out 10 Point, there will be a link in the description. They're always helping us out. If you're in the market for a crossbow, I definitely highly recommend them. I've been shooting them for a long time and hadn't had a single problem with them. And thanks also to clearballistics.com for helping us out with the gelatin. Questions? No questions. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.